Bomber, and my name is Joey. This is Bra uh, that's Brandon, and then this is Jeremy. Uh, we built a replica, like an exact replica of the meters per block, uh, up to a one out of one scale size, and we use feet to meters, and then we use meters to block. Uh, the camping year is about 50 meters, and the B2 bomber is about 53, so it's just a bit, a little bit bigger. The weight of the B2 bomber is uh, 158,100 tons. Pounds. Pounds, I mean. <laughs> and then that's like 70 tons, 79 tons. Uh, the length is 69 feet. Uh, the width is 172 feet and zero inches and then the height is 17 feet uh, the x is 17 feet the y is 69 feet uh, yeah feet and then the y, z is 172 feet uh, the b2 bomber changes its position by the thrusters make it go faster which makes the lift, make, which makes the lift like go faster and makes it go higher. And then when it, the drag, if it goes too slow, the drag makes it go really slow. And then the flaps change the directions. Uh, the I, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Alerons. Alerons. Uh, stop it so it doesn't go into like a spin. And then it doesn't have any stabilizers. Uh, we know how this plane flies by uh, the force of the engine is really strong because it's a jet engine and they use jet fuel, jet fuel and it can go almost 160 miles per hour. Ah, no. A lot of miles per hour. I can't remember that. In fact, oh, it says uh, the, crew, it, the maximum it can go is 630 miles per hour. There you go. Uh, the weight of it is uh, 158. The wingspan is 172 feet for, for 52 meters, which is 52 blocks. The wing area is 50, 500 and, wait, no, 5,140 feet. The maximum speed it can go is 630. And the cruise speed is 560. So that means if they wanted to like go get a coffee or something, they could. Why they were just like flying the plane or something. And then uh, the lift has to be greater than the weight because if it's not, then it won't fly and then it will crash. Uh, it costs, uh, each one costs $2.1 billion to make. Oh, and just let you know, the U.S. is in debt uh, $19 trillion. That's probably why, because they own like 20 of them. Uh, the V-2 bomber is also known as the stealth bomber. Uh, to research and develop, uh, it cost $23 billion. The first one, that's what, how much it took. The V-2 bomber, the, the V-2 bomber, first flight was in 1996. The U.S. had 21, but they crashed one in 2008. The Air Force bought, uh, 21 V-2 bombers, stealth bombers from Northrop German, the Grumman, in the 1980s. In the 1990s, at the price of more than two billion dollars apiece, if you count the development costs, one crashed on the German, I mean Guam, in 2008, leaving 20 in the active fleet, but de declining re readiness owing to maintenance and upgrading, where the ter wear and tear and crash shortages. Routinely in grounds, 11 of the radar evidence that we And, uh, the reason why they're, uh, like they're so, 
the reason why they're like so fast, well not like so fast, but they're the stealth bomber is because they're really hard to like detect because the metal that they're made out of, and I can't remember what metal that is, it it bounces off all radio like or radar signal off of it and sends it like shoots it in another direction so they can't really see it on the radar. The brick block, like brick, brick line, is the campanile. Like I said, it was like 50 meters. And the weird shadow that it makes is kind of funny and different because it like makes like a raven, robot raven type thing. Yeah. Like Brandon said. And, yeah. And um, there's our thrusters on the left and right. Do you have any more information on yourself? Um, Do you know how it turns? With the uh, flaps, it like, if you want to go left, one goes up. Uh, the right side goes up, I think, I'm pretty sure. And the left goes down, and that makes it turn left. And then the right is just the opposite. Now, can mm -hmm. it just bend right around without uh, no. panting? Yeah. No, it can't do that because it goes so fast and it's so high in the air that if it does that, it might like lose and like lose control and crash. So it can't stop and then turn quick. Yeah, it has to turn kind of slowly. So it like goes forward and then it turns and then it because like if you just would like just like 
have it and then just like turn it as fast as you can, that will probably cause something to happen and you would crash. Yeah. yeah. And then you probably would crash. What's the crew complement of? Two. Just two? Yeah. yeah. So the two people, they, they handle the bomb, bombing, the bombing, yeah. navigating everything? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, we just gotta put the seats in there. Oh, they're gonna stand in the entire time. Is it big enough for them to stand in the entire time? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's the air like in there? Uh, pretty. Well, it. We didn't like build an inside because that, like, all all that it holds on the inside is just electrical stuff and like just wires. bombs and stuff. And we thought that wasn't really that important if yeah. you just build wires or whatever. So. It, they do have, it just in case they do have like oxygen masks that deploy, just like in regular airplanes, because if they go down, they don't want to just like freak out. And have that. Did you say how high they go? Uh, yeah, they go like 50,000 feet, or like 150,000 meters. Once again, how do they stop it? Uh, they have a material on the top end, like surrounding the plane, that deflects radio signal and like radar signal and how like how high it goes like it's very hard to see with the human eye and when it is it's just like a big black weird looking shape you don't really actually see it at all but can you see it from the ground yes you can well not 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 like in real life if you because we didn't build it like the height that it normally goes because you can't we can't build that high, but uh, just like an invisible barrier. Now I need to build. Yeah. Take uh, But from the Minecraft ground, you can see it. In real life, if there was one flying over us right now, and we went outside and looked, would we be able to see it? You would be barely able to see it. Depends on the weather. If it's like super sunny and like it's not that moist or whatever. It, then you would probably be able to see it. Can you hear it? Yes. Even though it's still. Yeah, it's, it's loud. When I went to the air that's show... That's why it's really high up. That's why when I went to the air show in Sioux Falls a few years ago, they had one. It was loud. Like, really loud. Yes. Did you build that to actual size? Yes. yes. Or attempted to, at least. So, that do you know the difference so between a stealth bomber and a stealth fighter? Uh, a stealth bomber is like the exact same thing, just a different name as a stealth fighter, because it does the exact same thing. It just fights and like drop bombs. Okay. Do you know where it was built? Uh, uh, I think it was like Germany or something. Like the first one was built in Germany, and then America bought it from Germany. I don't agree with you. I think so. <laughs> I don't agree with you. No, it's actually, it was actually built in California. Oh, and then yeah. Lockheed built it. We have questions from Ohio. Yes. Do you think that this plane was easier to do in Minecraft than some of the other older planes? Yeah, be yeah, because like it was just a simple triangle shape, and then we just had to like cut it out. And what about in the Y axis, up and down? Uh, no, all we had to do is just start building up to a certain height that we felt was right, and then because, like I said, we couldn't build all the way. To where it normally right. flies, because that would be past world barrier. So being flat and not round and yeah. tubular made it easier, you think? Yes, because then we didn't have because building a circle in Minecraft would be way harder than building a square. Very impressive. Jim said it's very impressive. Yeah, it's good. That did a great job. Mm -hmm. Brandon, tech wise, what happens when two people are on the same server with the same login? Um, <laughs> you'll just go all, 
of the game in like two seconds. <laughs> it wasn't doing it all. I don't know. Yeah. That's what I did. Well, technically, we all have the same name, just different numbers. Right. Did you name your ship at all? Yes, the Black Ninja. Black Ninja. Oh, because oh, Ninja is so stealthy. Like that. And that's why. <laughs> <laughs>